and welcome back to Industry Giant 2. So I've uh, played for quite a while and there's quite a few new changes. Um, your comments I looked at when I played, I don't know, a few days ago. Didn't record any of it though. And uh, there wasn't a lot there really uh, other than uh, using the planes incorrectly and I certainly agree with that. So why don't we start here with the little changes. So this isn't changed at all. Um, I think I added uh, these two here. So now there's more production, which I need. And of course, in doing that, I had to increase production with the copper up here. And so I've got two trains moving that. There it is there. What's going on here? And I also... I just, I just can't keep up here. Let's see. Was there copper sitting here? Oh, no. So the mine came mine isn't keeping up. Okay, well... Here. Let's do that for a little bit. Um, so, I've got two copper going, and I've got the st one uh, steel on its own going there for the cutlery and all that. There's the high-grade steel. Oh, jeez. And I've done a lot of kind of like Transport Tycoon where I've got one lane going one way and one lane going the other. And that is increases efficient, efficiently, um, uh, efficiency amazingly. Uh, so, oh no, well I gotta fix that one I guess. Uh, let me just fix that. Okay, uh, I'll get to that those cans in a second. I just want to show you stuff in order. Um, so here's, I got, there's some new boats. The boats don't carry any more, but they're a little faster. So there's those those boats there. They carry, uh, or they use oil instead of coal. Um, this, oh, um, I thought uh, I would make a little halfway hub, is, which I called it here, for the plastic. Uh, the, all, right now, the, the uh, boats have to go all the way around here, right? So I made a little inlet and I'm using a train to move plastic up here and then a boat will pick it up and take it over so it makes it faster. Same with steel. Now if you remember I had a train picking up uh, rubber here and then bringing it up to make the cars. Oh there's new cars by the way. <laughs> um, so what I did is on its way back it was doing nothing so I made it uh, drop steel back here and then there's a steel boat sitting there. There's a little bit of an annoying thing that they probably should have just got rid of. If, if a, a train is not able to unload something, it will sit there forever. Uh, so it'd be nice if they just dumped it overboard or if there at least wasn't an option. Anyways, uh, I don't think this has changed. I might have added a steel mill here, but there are new cars. There are luxury cars, and luxury cars are the same thing as the other cars, except they require some leather. And so that's why I put this cow farm here making leather. It doesn't need to make very much as you can see. And this doesn't need very much up here either because I don't run the luxury cars very often. So is this alright? Bodies. Switch. Yeah, so there's the luxury cars there. So they're more they're more money. Probably fifty percent more money. So that boat that's shipping cars down there, I have, it, I have him shipping, I think, 8 and, or, I 12 and 4, I think 12 regular 4 uh, specialty cars that go down to here. So this hasn't changed either. This is just selling stuff. I've been getting more stuff in. And, oh, look at my money, by the way. As you can see, I'm doing pretty damn well. Uh, but, yes, so gasoline and cars... That's nice. Oh, they just disappeared. All those utensils nor you normally see, and then cars and gasoline are all being sold down there. Okay. This down here hasn't changed either. There's an airport. I did dump all of the airplanes except for two that are moving one of the commodities, one of the appliance commodities. I've, I've kind of, from your comments, you said, which was right, 
planes are really only useful for long distances, especially if you're traveling over top of terrain that's like mountainous or whatever and difficult to get through. Or cities, like in this map. Um, but they're also not very useful unless you're loading one commodity only. Uh, because if you got if you have planes sitting there waiting for different products, only two planes can be in an airport, you've just got yourself stuck pretty much. Another thing that happened, which it would have been, I guess I should have recorded because it was kind of funny, this warehouse right here, it had about five blocks full of hair dryers that weren't being sold because I was just getting in too many. And I didn't realize that for the longest time, but finally what I did is I had a truck move some of them out to the one down here. And the reason, of course, that warehouse on the left over stockpiled is because of the distance. So see the distance here? It was the one truck, which carries two, by the way, is, was doing this back and forth. And that was probably ten times quicker than a one truck going from here all the way down to here. So that was the reason for that problem. That's for these over stockpile there. So that was fixed. I fixed that anyways. Okay, um, so major changes would be I have started some farming. And here is it right here. So what I have is I have four fruit farms. And what happens... Oh, what happens is they... Um, I'm just going to put some fish on here. What happens is they produce fruit, and then what I have is cans coming in. Whoops. I have cans coming in. I'll show you that in a second. Okay. Okay, so these should be... Oh, whoops. Oh, I see what the problem is. I had them all on fish because I had run out of fruit. So I'm making frozen or preserved fruit, so fruit in a can. I was originally, as you can see here, there's some glass factories that are being unused. I was originally going to make booze out of here, but I decided not to. Um, the, the price wasn't that great. And the preserved fruit is the highest selling, the highest cost food right now canned fruit, canned meat, and canned fish. So what I have going on here as well is I have uh, fish, a couple uh, fisheries right here. So there's the fisheries. This is the first time I've had them. So it just sends a boat out and the boat, the boat kind of wanders around. And so it puts fish here and then I have uh, trains. I have, a, I have trains that just kind of uh, pick it up as it goes by. And I'm trying to... Oh, I think I have... Oh, I know. I have a boat uh, moving fish out of here. Maybe I'll... Uh, whoops. I have a boat moving uh, preserved fruit out of here. As you can see, this one right here. And so trains are moving some... A few of the trains are moving preserved fruit here. And then on their way back, they pick up fish. They dump it. And then with the cans... And with the food factories, they make it into preserved fish right here, these little cans here. So that's been a pretty good business. And so I'll show you the cans now. I put a, th um, I had originally just, I guess the tracks are still here actually. I built tracks through the station, so that normally the trains would go through the station. I just thought kind of for efficiency's sake. But it's not very good if there's trains sitting there and you can't get through. Um, so I built a throughway here. So that's where these trains are going. So those, I have probably about four or five trains that are moving cans all the way over. So there's one just sitting there loading them up. So there's some iron here and steel mills and whatever. Oh, what the hell? There's fruit sitting here for some reason. Why don't we move that out now? I have no idea why that happened. So must be, must be a rogue train out there somewhere. Oh, what are you doing? There. So yeah, uh, that's what I've been doing, and I've been making a shitload of money doing it. Oh, there's new planes. Look at the plane. <laughs> it's huge. 
it carries uh, more. It carries 12 or something. The original planes, I think, carried 10. This one carries 12. So the planes are getting bigger. That's a little faster as well. But still, I think the, the major issue is the airport. The airport holds two only, and they're pretty slow going through the airport. So airports are really only good for moving one commodity, I would say. Oh, a I think that's an older plane. I think I kept, yeah, I kept one of the older planes to show you the difference. There's an old plane and there's a newer plane. But they're not the, the planes that I used in the last uh, video. This is one upgrade that came about, and then this is an, uh, the most recent upgrade, this bigger one here. So there was two planes since uh, last time. I don't know how many years have passed, but... So, yeah. Oh, what's going on here? So copper. Oh, copper's down here. So that sh everything should be, I think everything's running pretty good. As you can see from my money, it's, I'm doing very well. Um, there's lots of ideas for expansion. Um, I would, expansion, I would prefer expansion that is not so much on the micromanagement side. Because <laughs> that's always the annoyance of certainly games like this where the more you get into it the more and more work it is so but food is good to start up so I don't mind doing that it makes lots of money so yeah so I guess I'll just play for a bit here oh, I guess I've got some of the boats I don't I don't have upgraded yet but as you can see, there's no difference in the cargo capacity. It's just a little faster. But that's fine. Could always use that. Could do some of the luxury stuff. I don't know if I have built my uh, headquarters, for example. Probably not. I wonder where I should build it. Maybe right. Maybe I uh, guess it should be around the main hub. It should be over here somewhere on the water or something. Doesn't really need to be near anything. So that's built. And a player... player house. I could do that. Why not? So I guess I should show you this. There is goals. There are missions when you play. Here's the one mission. So it wants... There's a time limit. 2020. The game will end. They want so many luxury buildings, and they want a company value of 250 million. Oh, good, the turnover I've got. So I've got the profits already, but I just need the company value. That means I have to build and build and build. So um, it's, let's do this housing stuff just so it's done with, and then some of those luxury buildings I can do as well. So let's see. I don't know. How about right here? I guess I better not do that. How about in here? I guess it should be somewhere where I can find it. Let me just put it here. Because I don't really want to take up space that I might use later for things. How about just right here? Build that there. And then I think I can upgrade it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm getting big here. Oh. I thought maybe we would delete the old one. Oh, look at that, jeez. Any more? Oh. <laughs> oh, I can't build this one. Is it luxury points? Oh, yeah, it is. 550. Okay, so we can build special buildings. Ooh, event hall. Oh, look at that. And there's a green question mark on the icon, too. That must mean something. That must be uh, something good. Oh, I can build it over here. So I have no idea what this is going to do. Yay. Okay. Oh, watering can. Hardware store. Plastics. I guess that's it. Okay, stadium. They already have a stadium. Botanic garden. Horse racing. Roller coaster. Oh, I can put that. Zoo. 
How about a zoo somewhere else? That's enough of that. I'm not really sure what they do. I don't know if I get luxury points every month or something for those things. I have no idea. But there was something new. There was maybe a new shop. I guess not. So, uh, what should I do now? Let's see. So, there could be some expansion. I've already got Frozen. Uh oh. What was that? Oh, shoot. Okay, let's fix that quick. Maybe I'll just do it here. Oh, this one there. That's weird. I wonder what the heck that was then. Does this one have a repair? Yeah. Hmm. That's weird. I have no idea why that happened. Hopefully that wasn't crucial. I wonder if there's a way I can see the most recently created... Uh, what's the youngest? Here we go. So by age, one year. Oh, it's a plane. Oh, that's, oh I probably don't... I probably didn't build this back. Oh, I didn't. I moved the airport, that's why. I moved this airport. I didn't rebuild the uh, repair station, so that's why that happened. Oh, well, so that's fixed. All right, so I'm just going to have a look here at the products that are... Uh, so the uh, brewery stuff hasn't changed at all. It's the same stuff. There's a food industry. So the best stuff is preserved fruit fish and meat so I could put cattle farm over here for meat and then make uh, preserved of that stuff too could be done gasoline hasn't changed toy stuff I haven't bothered with there's the household stuff oh yeah oh, a nylon toothbrush washing machine I already make disposable cups yeah that'd be a big waste of time Nylon. I know you get nylon out of oil. Okay. Clothing I haven't touched. Furniture I haven't touched. There's office furniture and stuff. I'm not sure if that was around last last map or last uh, video. I don't think anything any of this is new except for the watering can. Paper hasn't changed. Jewelry. There's sunglasses. And here's the electronics, they haven't changed. There should be an upgrade soon for that. It's been a little while. There's all kinds of musical stuff. Amplifier. There's an electric guitar. The uh, computer's actually doing lots of musical instrument stuff, like trumpets and all that. Fitness appliances. Bikes. Oh, look at this. Inflatable boat. One rubber. Alright, and there's the cars. So there's a the luxury in the regular cars. Let's switch this. Okay, this probably has to be fixed again. There we go. So that, yeah, that's... Uh, oh, the steel is barely keeping up with demand here. I just have enough, pretty much. One thing I was thinking about... Why is that? Oh, never mind. One thing I was thinking about is uh, I could airport cans from here. And that uh, might be a actual worthwhile use of... Uh, the planes, because this is a pretty far distance here. It's, uh, 
Oh, well, I guess that's actually not that far. But it would deal... It would. It's only one product, so... That's a possibility, but I'm not sure what I would really move all the way down to here. I don't know what I would do. I'd have to make all the stuff up here or something. Like, I could... I don't know what the, the land is over here like. What's the meat over here? Oh, that's actually pretty good. I could uh, make some meat over here. And then turn into preserved meat right here, build an airport, and then ship it all the way down. Not a lot of space here for that, though. Okay, I'm back. A little uh, little glitch. So I could do that. I don't know if it's if that's worthwhile. And there's not a lot of space here because airports are huge. Take up a lot of space, as you can see. So that's pretty annoying. I haven't been using wood at all for a sawmill, so that could be done. But yeah, I uh, I was trying the other day to try to get uh, Transport Tycoon to work with Fraps, but it doesn't work. It uh, it's not an OpenGL program or whatever it's called. It's not a program that Fraps recognizes as recordable. Uh, I did try, there's some cam one, there's some free download, and it doesn't record the stereo sounds, only records the mic. So I'll have to look that up on maybe on YouTube, I'm sure someone's on a video on how to record Transport Tycoon. Because I've got actually a really good saved game that I want to show you that I've, I've taken over the entire map. I think the computer exists, but they're not doing very much. It's a candy map, if you're aware of Transport Tycoon. There's different, uh, there's different, I don't know what you call it, like sets on the map, different industries and all that per map. And uh, the one I played for a long time was the candy map. And I've got it set up. Oh, look at this. I've got it set up so uh, I have one giant station that runs off of a drink and not candy, the other one, robot, a toy, a big station that handles all the toy and drink manufacturing, and then I've got a separate uh, giant station that handles all the candy manufacturing. And so every single uh, primary resource on the map I have sent to the appropriate giant station by train, and then I ship out the either the goods or the, uh, uh, is it drinks? I think it's, yeah, cans, uh, cans of cola or whatever that the, the uh, and the toys. Toys and the candy and the drinks uh, to towns. So it's a pretty intricate map. I actually have highways that the trains go down, kind of like this. Kind of like I used to see this train going down. And one thing that Transport Tycoon has uh, that industry giant does not is you can put signals and so you can direct which train or you can make sure trains don't run into each other and blow themselves up and all that they don't blow each other up in this game but uh, if you have collisions on in transport taken they will and so you can put signals up and direct the trains better but still I have big highways that they get on anyways it's really neat and I'd like to show you that so once I figure out how to record it then then you'll get to see it all right, so I think I probably should stop here so you can kind of uh, have a look at everything that's changed. There's quite a bit that's changed. And uh, let me know what uh, what I should do next in terms of expansion, in terms of using the planes for something else, like those cans, for example, or I could uh, make preserved meat up there and ship that down. I certainly think that where the airports are located are worthwhile. I just have to find a good use for them. So that's pretty much it. So let me know what uh, what you recommend.